Hi. Um, if you don't know me, my name's Alex. Also, if you don't know, I do those close-up eye images for Pat McGrath, the ones that are all over social media. You see them in ads on Pinterest, blah, 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 whatever. Not the videos, the images. So today I thought that I would do a Pat McGrath eyeshadow look. Uh, I'm not recreating any one particular look that I've already done for her, but I just, you know, something along those lines, the, like the smoke, the color, mostly the smoke, you know what I mean? Anyway, uh, we're gonna do it. So I have a little bit of an outline for my brows. It's obviously not like fully done because I just kind of like to have at least the bottom line done so that there's a little bit of a frame for the eyeshadow. We're doing eyes first, so I am going to prep underneath my eyes with these Hydro Cool Firming Eye Gels from Skin Iceland. I got them at Ulta because I saw Patrick Ta using them. So you know they gotta be good. What happened here? There's a little extra guy in there. Should I use him for my like angry line right here? <laughs> They're extra good if you keep them in the fridge, but, and I have some in the fridge, but I just always forget to grab those ones. Dude, these like man hand nails, I need my tools back. I need my claws. Makes life so much harder. Uh, all right, so I'm gonna be using a different eye primer because I, I don't know, I tried this for the first time this morning and I really, really liked it. This is the Hourglass Veil Primer Eye Primer. Pretty fantastic. It's not quite as opaque as the Anastasia one. The Anastasia one is very light and kind of opaque. This one is a little more sheer, still kind of light. I don't know if they have different shades. Going by the name, I don't think they do. Yeah, you can see it's like very sheer, but um, I don't know, I really like it. The texture of it was very nice. There's like a, a very nice grip to it uh, and it made blending very easily and it actually made the eyeshadow, like the eyeshadow itself sort of look like it was a part of my skin. Um, like it was my skin, but that color, you know? like. I don't know, I feel like other um, eyeshadow primers kind of create maybe a little bit more of a barrier. I don't really know how to describe it. I guess you'll see what I mean. The only thing is it doesn't really do that much to cancel out pigment, so. You know, you can still see a bunch of veins. All right, I'm trying to decide between two Pat palettes. I've got Mothership 1 and Mothership 3 here. And I know I want to use blue. Hence the background. And that just like, I don't know, is kind of baller. Like I just really want to use this guy, you know? But this has some really nice shades in it too. I think I'm gonna use one. Uh, so I'm gonna start off with, I always lose the inserts, so I don't know what the names of these are, but I'm gonna use this guy. I'll take you through my little progression. So I typically go in with like the transition shade, which is gonna be this color. And then I'm gonna tap into this color. And then I might go in with the black, I haven't decided yet, and then this is probably gonna go all over our lids. So this is pretty much going to be like how I attack a Pat McGrath look. If you haven't seen that video, by the way, where I show you how I do those images, uh, basically how I do the makeup for them, I'll pop it somewhere. I think it's over here. I think it'll be here. <laughs> all right, so I'm starting off with my Japanesque 724 brush, just a fluffy brush. It's a little bit bigger than like a MAC 217. I'm gonna go in with uh, this guy and I'm gonna start off by placing this just above where my natural crease is. Just back and forth, just kind of like lay on the groundwork. Hmm. Okay, that's the only downside to this primer. It, it leaves a lot more of a grip. Like if I touch my skin, I don't know if you can see that, but like, it's not smooth. Like it doesn't become velvety like the Anastasia one. So it's still, I think it maybe, it stays like a little bit too wet. But because of that, it makes the eyeshadow kind of like blend into the skin, which is nice, but you have to be careful because I should have let it set a little bit longer because if you go in a little bit too quickly, it just takes like too much pigment in one area, you know? And then it, it might take a little bit longer to blend it, you know? Like it blends nice now, but it just, it went down too, too much in that area because I, I don't think I waited long enough. So my like typical shape, I really like to start off above my crease and then bring it up to the bottom of uh, the inner part of my eyebrow and then kind of like swoop it down and out. That's typically how I like to define my eye. This side is driving me crazy because it's just not as blended. And when I do my eyeshadow bef 
for my foundation. I don't take it, I don't wing it out as much or like worry too much about smoking it or having this area blended perfectly because I gotta put my foundation down first. So we'll go in and like blend all that shit later. All right, so I don't think that that's super even, but I'm gonna go in and fix it later on when we already have, when we have our foundation on. So now I'm gonna go into the second like grayish brown shade, whatever you wanna call that. And I'm gonna use a smaller brush. I guess I'm gonna go in with the Morphe M4 Three, three brush. It's basically like a MAC 217. It's always a good benchmark. And I'm going to start building up this outer area. So I like to place it like right on the outer. It's not even really the lid. It's like the outer corner and a little bit onto the lid. But I like to really smoke out my, my eyeshadow. <laughs> So basically just kind of like patting down the shadow in the area that I want it and then slowly blending it out. I feel like a total dick because earlier this morning I was uh, using this eye primer and I was, I was loving it and right now it's just kind of like not working for me like it was. Like what's happening over here? Don't know. All right, now I'm gonna go in with that first brush and the first color. Again, and just blend over that a little bit. All right, I want a smaller brush. I'm gonna use the, what is a Sigma E42 Precision Firm Blender Brush. So this is just like a little blender brush and I'm gonna grab that middle shade and I just wanna like define this area. Like I wanna kinda like close off this part of um, of the eye because I want to put blue all over the lid and I just don't want there to be like a disconnect in the inner corner. But I also don't want it to like go onto the inner lid. The inner lid. The inner lid. I just don't, I don't know. I don't want this to be all over the place, this like brown shade because I want the blue to kind of be the focal point, but I feel like I need this area to be a little bit more grounded in space. Like this looks a little bit more defined while this is just kind of like floating. I don't know but I also don't really want it to become like a halo eye. Okay, so this is just my trouble eye. <laughs> Nothing is going well over here. Okay, now I'm gonna grab the black color, which is black, believe it or not, but I just kind of wanted to remind you guys. So we went in with this guy, then this guy. Now I'm going in with the black and I'm gonna use that same Sigma brush. Focusing on the tip of the brush. And I'm gonna just kind of deepen up this area. I might take this a little bit more on the lid. I haven't decided yet. Maybe just like that much. Kind of close this off a little bit. I don't know. I kind of want to just bring it in a little bit more so that I can, uh, I have something to kind of like tap the blue over you know, so it's all layered nicely. Cool, okay, so now I'm gonna go in with that blue. Just to remind you what it looks like, it's bomb as fuck. I swear cameras never do them justice, you know? So pretty. I'm just gonna pat it all over the center of the lid. I'm gonna blend it a little bit into that black. I wanna make sure that I'm not totally covering, you know, any of those other shadows but I want the blend to look right. So once I'm starting to get into this like inner area, you can see that this is like not quite as dark as the blue. So I wanna make sure that I'm lightly blending that so you don't end up with this like weird harsh line. Okay. And then when I get to the top where I applied my, um, what I, oh no, I got it on my bottom. Uh, up here for the crease, I'm going to do the same thing. So like just lightly tap and blend into the rest of uh, those shadows. <clears throat> I got messy on that side. All right, so uh, now I'm gonna take a little blending brush. Basically, the reason that I like kind of blend up into that area is because I don't have like a, I have a crease in my lid. So if I don't take it all the way up, I will get transfer. I don't feel like create, making this like a cut crease or anything, you know? So a lot of the times I'll just kind of like tap that shimmer into the transition shade or whatever we put up above our crease so that it looks like 
I don't know, like it transitions nicely and then that way I don't have to worry about transfer. So that's like a really good option if you have slightly hooded lids or if you deal with transfer a lot. So I'm gonna take, I literally had something, oh, here we go. So this is the, oh, this is a little blender brush by the Makeup Institute. Um, and I'm going to, what is this called? Oh no, it doesn't have a name. I don't know. Looks like a nice brush. I haven't used this before, but I'm gonna pick up just a little bit of that blue on that brush, tap it off. And then I'm just going to lightly blend. You don't even need to do this if you like tapped into it or if you feel like you tapped it well, but I just feel like I could use a little bit more, especially on this side. This is a mess. I think I'm figuring out what my problem with um, filming is because my makeup is always so different when I film. A lot of the time it's because my mirror is too far away. I'm nearsighted. I have to wear contacts. It gets in my eyes and then I practically go blind. It's very hard to like be able to tell what the fuck I'm doing over here. You know what I mean? Basically, I want to get LASIK. Um, okay, so I'm going to just set this because we have a lot of shimmer. I put a lot down and it's just like very pigmented shadow uh, using the, once again by Hourglass, the Veil Soft Focus Setting Spray or mist or whatever the fuck this is called. I don't know, I think this is new. I don't actually know. It's new to me anyway. Um, so I'm just gonna set this shadow before I go and do my face. This is a very nice mist. So I'm actually gonna do the rest of my face makeup before I continue with my lower lash line and finish off the eyes. Um, yeah, I'll be right back. So I did the rest of my face, basically blush. I did not do highlighter just because I wanna wait because I might use a Pat McGrath highlighter. I. I really want to do the tight lower lash line. That's what I want for this. Do you see the situation that I have happening under here? Basically, my filler has been slowly dissolving and I'm just crepey under here. <laughs> like I just always have been and it's so much worse now that my filler is going away and um, I just, I have to put shadow there and it's depressing and I'm upset about it because I just want to do the whole like tight, you know, whatever. So. I don't know. I think what I'm going to do is uh, I think I'm going to start off really tight lining the lower lash line and then I guess we're just going to see what the fuck happens. I don't know. Anyway, so for my waterline to begin, uh, I am going to be using another Pat McGrath product. This is the Blitz Blue Permagel Ultra Glide <sighs> Eye Pencil. I'm probably going to drag it a little bit on my lower lash line as well. Well, since we just did that, I might as well, you know, ouch. For some reason, the outer corner of my eye never holds on to eyeliner, I don't know why. I think it just gets like very um, wet and irritated when I have contacts in. So annoying. <laughs> so messy, it's the messiest. All right, so now I'm gonna take a tight brush. This is the CCB 103 brush by City Colors. Oh my God, City Color Cosmetics. And uh, I'm going to basically tap over and blend into that blue. Can I, like the cadence, uh, with the blue eyeshadow. Yeah, and I'm gonna keep this as tight as I possibly can. I'm also going to be really topping off my brush because we have all our face makeup done now. So this is the tricky part, is looking up, gotta look up. to make the cutest face alive. Alive? Connecting it up to my lower lash and I clean that up a little bit with my concealer to make, I made it a little bit sharp. I'm probably gonna smoke it out in a bit. Patting it down and then doing that a little bit, but you don't wanna just immediately go in and start like swiping it back and forth cause you're gonna get, um, I have so much of it in my eye right now. Yeah. So if I didn't have those creases, like that's already smoked out a lot, right? All that blue. But then you just can't, I can't leave it like that because that just drives me so insane. I can't look at that. I love how much eyeshadow I just like stuck in my eyeball. Ugh. Here's the plan. I'm going to wipe off that brush. I'm going to buff underneath that shadow as best as I can. Not dragging it down, literally just going back and forth. Now, 
so that's not bad. So I want to blend a little bit into that area with the transition shade, but I don't want to take it down too low because I've just been enjoying like a slightly tighter lower lash line. I don't know if it's gonna work. So I'm gonna take a little, probably like a pencil brush. Maybe this guy. So this is from Model Rock Cosmetics. Uh, this is the mini shader brush. And I'm gonna pick up, just in case you've forgotten what it looks like, that transition shade. So it's just kind of like that light to medium taupe. I'm gonna buff under, I have to do this with my face, so I can't talk to you, but I'm gonna buff underneath that. But just taking it to that line, I don't wanna take it any further. So again, it's the same, oops, sorry. It's the same process where I'm tapping and then going in and blending. Can you see how much better that looks? It's just like a little bit more grounded. It's still smoky, but it's not like so low. <laughs> I don't know, it's, it's up to you. If you don't have um, this kind of under eye situation like me, then you can keep it a lot tighter. So another thing that I did was I brought the, um, the end in a little bit tighter. So rather than having this area come down as far as like the middle of my eye, I tightened it up um, with the like end of the lower of the uh, lash line. Does that make any sense? The outer corner of the eye, you know, like I brought this up. So that's actually going to help kind of like accentuate a lift. Um, all right, I'm gonna go in and do the inner corner. So for that, I'm going to use this shade right here, which is super pretty. It's like a duo chrome. You can kind of see it's purpley, a little bit of um, like a warm pink. Then you turn it and you get kind of like an icy minty blue. So I'm going to apply that with a pencil brush. This is the Morphe something. I don't know. It's a pencil brush and it's from a collection apparently. I'm gonna tap that off and then I'm gonna spritz this because it's very pigmented and it would honestly go down best with my finger, but um, I want precision here, so I need a brush. Ooh, girl! Isn't that so pretty? I thought about putting this like in the center of the blue. Should we do that or would it be too much? I don't know. I feel like they layer nicely. So I'm focusing it like right there, in the inner corner, right there. And then I'm just kind of like a little gentler hand patting it out. It's not so pretty. Fuck yeah. All right, for my, the rest of my highlights, like my face and all that shit, I like to do that before I do my lashes and my mascara just so that it's not like glittery. Uh, I'm gonna use Pat McGrath highlighting palette. So this is the, what is this called? Sublime Skin Highlighting Trio. So I, my favorite thing to do is to mix these two shades. So we've got this kind of like iridescent pink or holographic or duochrome or whatever people say, I don't really care. It's got a shift to it. And then I like to mix it with this kind of like pale gold shade and it creates this really beautiful kind of like warm peachy color. And you can kind of like dip into the other one a little bit more to make it like more gold or like a little bit more pink. I just love mixing them. And just so you guys know, this is my favorite little like eyebrow highlighting brush. Just packs on color so nicely. This is our uh, pigment so nicely. It's the Morphe M205. So it's just like a tiny little flat brush, but I love it. Isn't that so pretty? Yeah, I feel like, well, I don't know. Hopefully it'll look nice when I edit it because on the monitor it just looks like a sheen, but the color is just so nice. You get so many shifts. So pretty. I love that highlighting palette. That just happened. Oh, I was putting mascara on. So, good day, it's a great day. Basically, the only thing we can do in this kind of a situation is let it dry and then do our best to get rid of it. So while we're waiting for it to dry, I'm gonna apply my falsies and I'm gonna be using the Pro Lash, the before, oh, 
B B Row 3D by Swede Lashes. B Row 3D. I think I'm ready, but I'm like really nervous about it. So <laughs> I have to get my mirror so close. Okay, that was just a speck. It was a little fleck that fell down. Fuck. Oh, you guys, this shit's hourglass caution, man. Like, once it's on, it's on. You know what I mean? I think we're getting somewhere. Oh my god. Oh my god, we're walking away from this. Fairly unscathed. Damn, okay, so I have like a couple little like black specks, but you know, I mean, considering what, <clears throat> what was just on my face. That's almost undetectable. <laughs> Thank God. I didn't mention that while I was finish while I was finishing my face makeup, faith, while I was finishing my face makeup, I popped on a little bit of lip liner. Did I pop it on? I'm so sick of the sound of my own voice. I applied some lip liner. <laughs> it's Lime Crime Topist. It is my favorite neutral lip liner. That's it. Because this is a fairly intense eye and I didn't want anything too much. So I'm probably just going to pop on a little bit of pop. Pop it on. Am I going to pop it on? I'm probably going to apply a little bit of gloss. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Anyway, maybe just a nude lipstick. Um, I just realized that I didn't blend... I didn't go back in and blend. Now, it doesn't look too bad up here. Like this line is quite sharp, but I'm actually super into it. Um, but what I am gonna do while we're waiting for our lash glue to get tacky, uh, I'm gonna take that big fluffy brush, our first one, and I'm going to uh, tap into that transition shade that we went in with to begin with, 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 you guys. Not only did that just take place, and also my camera won't fucking focus on it. I got it on that as well. Hey, how's your quarantine going? Because that's how mine's been going. I broke a dish in the dishwasher the other day. Like I was taking it out of the dishwasher and I broke it. So there were just like shards of glass in the dishwasher. What was I doing? Oh yeah, okay. So I'm gonna take a fluffy blending brush. This is the Morphe M573 brush. Thank God I have so many brushes. And I'm gonna go in with uh, the transition shade like I was trying to tell you before I ruined everything and now that brush is totally ruined. Cause like, how do you get lash glue? How do you get black lash glue out of an eyeshadow brush? I'm gonna blend out here a little bit. I don't even know. That's it. That's all I wanted to do. You can't even really tell that I did anything. Was it worth losing that brush over? Somebody asked me if I could not film when I have negative energy. And I was like, all I am is negative energy. I'm just a ball of it. Ask my family. I came out of the womb like that. Okay, well that looks fly though. So I feel okay about it. Somehow I'm walking away with like so much footage from this video and I feel like I haven't really been doing that much. Also, a lot of you guys, well, we're still, we're waiting. We're like, hey, how's your hair still look so good? Uh, do you see those roots? Cause I do. So bad. Just brush it forward and pretend they don't exist. Okay, I'm gonna pop this lash on now. Just cause I honestly, I just can't wait. I also didn't trim them. Dude, I'm super into these like spiky lashes. Nikki makeup, not Nikki tutorials. A lot of you guys thought I was talking about Nikki tutorials. Nikki underscore makeup on Instagram. She's made me so obsessed with like spiky lashes. Oh yeah, I forgot I got lash glue all over that. Okay, I don't know if MAC, probably not. This is a Patrick Star licks, lipstick, lipstick from a, P uh, Peter. Patrick's collaboration with Mac. I think it was the last, his last holiday collection. This is the shade Peachy Peter. It's a matte lipstick and it's fucking beautiful. And I just need it to be, a, I need it to be a reg. I need it to be a reg. My lips are really dry. I'm gonna pop on a little bit of gloss. I'm gonna pop it on. All right, I'm just gonna use a little bit of lip balm because I can't find the gloss that I want. This is Kopari lip glossy. I didn't want them to be glossy, uh, but they've just been so fucking dry lately. I just, I need a little bit more hydration. All right, anyway, so this is it. That's it, you guys. I feel like we started off really strong and then I had so many problems and it's fine. It's fine. Cause the eyes look sick. So uh, yeah, 
Um, that's it. Yeah, I don't know. Smoky eye, whatever. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you want to see more Pat McGrath looks, let me know. I will obviously, you know, always willing to play around. Um, but yeah, pretty fire. I've been wanting to use blue and I wanted to do a smoky eye. That's it. Let me know what you want to see next in the comments down below. Maybe I'll see you in the next one. I hope so. I'll be there. Bye.